Welcome to this segment of In Dealership Training. During this program, we'll take a look at some of the new features of the VW VR6 engine. What we'll cover today is an overview of the engine where we explain some of the design and construction principles, some special service procedures, the coolant system, and additional information such as the new traction control system and the suspension changes to vehicles equipped with the VR6 engine. Volkswagen has developed a new six-cylinder engine called the VR6. This 2.8 liter engine is unique in that the V angle between the cylinder banks is 15 degrees rather than the 60 or 90 degrees found in most conventional V6 designs. This 2.8 liter engine features a cast iron crankcase, one light alloy cross flow cylinder head with two valves per cylinder that are operated by chain driven overhead camshafts. The staggered cylinder bores results in the engine being about the same length as a four cylinder engine. The 15 degree design allows the cylinders to be almost in line and the center line of the cylinders to cross below the center line of the crankshaft. The cylinders are at a 12 and a half millimeter offset to the center line of the crankshaft. Because of the offset cylinder placement and narrow V design, the connecting rod journals are offset 22 degrees to each other on the crankshaft. This results in an even 120 degree firing interval between each cylinder. The crankshaft is supported by seven main bearings. Mounted on the crankshaft is a gear wheel with 60 teeth. This wheel is used by the engine speed and reference sender to measure engine speed and crankshaft position. For space saving reasons, the chain sprocket to drive the camshafts is also in the flywheel side of the crankshaft. This also results in lower vibration in the chains because of the damping effect of the flywheel mass. The camshafts are operated by a two-stage chain drive assembly. In the first stage, a single roller chain drives an intermediate sprocket and shaft. The sump mounted oil pump is driven by this intermediate shaft. A double roller chain is driven by this intermediate shaft sprocket and drives the two camshaft sprockets. The overhead camshafts operate the hydraulic lifters, which in turn open the valves. Chain flutter is prevented by guide rails on the slack side of both chains. Chain tension is maintained by two chain tensioners. Both chain tensioners are lubricated by engine oil. The upper chain tensioner is hydraulically operated by engine oil pressure and spring tension. The lower chain tensioner is operated only by spring tension. Oil lubricates the chain from a hole in the end of this tensioner piston. The lower chain tensioner has a spring actuated piston with a mechanical lock. Volumetric efficiency must be uniform to attain smooth engine running and optimal power output under all conditions. This in turn requires identical flow conditions in the intake ports of all the cylinders. 
Because of the special VR6 cylinder arrangement with two rows of combustion chambers in the same cylinder head, the intake runners between the two cylinder banks are different lengths. Since the lengths of the intake runners in the VR6 cylinder head are not equal, it was necessary to compensate with the internal design of the intake manifold. In the interest of environmental friendliness, a replaceable oil filter cartridge is used on the VR6 engine. It's more environmentally friendly because the filter does not have an outside metal case. And since the case is gone, the filter does not retain as much oil when it is discarded. To remove the filter, unscrew the filter housing and remove the element. Two new adapters are needed for the engine support tool 10-222. These adapters must be used to support the engine whenever the transmission is removed or any repairs are done which require removal of an engine mount. A new tool was designed to reach down the cylinder head and remove the spark plug connectors. The tool is notched to enable it to hold on to the plug connector. To remove the connector, insert the tool down into the cylinder head and twist it. Once you have pulled the connector off from the spark plug, the connector can be removed from the tool by twisting it out of the notch. For more information about this and other VR6 tools, refer to the service circular, Tools and Equipment, number 91-09. The VR6 engine uses an impella type of water pump that is driven by the engine's polyrib belt. The pump draws the engine coolant from a supply tube attached to the side of the engine. The engine thermostat is located here inside this housing which is attached to the tube. The thermostat controls the flow of coolant from the engine and radiator. A plug for draining engine coolant is located here on the underside of the coolant supply tube next to the water pump. An electric auxiliary pump is used to assure good coolant flow at low engine speeds and also to circulate coolant under certain conditions after the engine is shut off. The pump is connected in series with the main water pump and runs whenever the ignition is switched on. The pump will also run together with the radiator fan first speed for up to 10 minutes after the engine is shut off when the coolant temperature is above 220 degrees Fahrenheit. This helps provide more stable temperatures during these engine cool down periods. The thermal switch, which controls this radiator fan after run function, is this yellow switch located here in the thermostat housing. This switch also contains the temperature sensor that operates the coolant gauge. Vehicles equipped with the VR6 engine have a three speed, 450 watt radiator fan motor. The resistors which determine the fan speeds are inside the motor. The motor drives a second fan by a rubber drive belt which is located inside the fan housing. The first and second speed of the radiator fan is activated by the thermal switch located in the radiator. A second switch located in the thermostat housing will activate the radiator fan third speed and also turn off the AC compressor if coolant temperature exceeds 250 degrees Fahrenheit. On Passat's, the fuse for the radiator fan motor is located next to the relays for radiator fan second and third speed here next to the shock absorber tower. On Corrado's with the VR6 engine, 
the radiator fan fuse is located on a new control relay for the fan motor. This control unit operates the following. All three speeds of the radiator fans, the radiator fan after run function, and the auxiliary coolant pump operation. A centralized electrical connector is used for the VR6 engine to simplify assembly during vehicle production. The engine's components are wired through this central connector instead of using numerous other smaller connectors. Corrado and Passats with the VR6 engine are equipped with a new traction control system. This system has two additional valves that are located here in this housing. These valves work in combination with the existing ABS system. The system will apply brake pressure to a front wheel if that wheel begins to spin during low speed acceleration. By applying the brake to reduce the wheel spin of a wheel with poor traction, engine power will be supplied to the wheel that has traction allowing the car to move forward. The system is fully operational only up to about 25 miles per hour. The traction control system uses the ABS wheel speed sensors to monitor wheel speed. The circuitry for operating the system is located inside the ABS control unit. Vehicles with the VR6 engine have revised suspension because of the increased engine power. The control arms and the suspension uprights are new. The wheels and wheel hubs also have a larger five bolt wheel pattern. The outer CV joint splines are now installed with a locking compound on the splines of the wheel hub. You'll have to use this new tool, number 3283, to push the CV joint splines out of the hub. For more information on these and other changes to the 1992 Volkswagens, you can refer to these service training self-study programs, number 402 and number 404. That completes this in dealership training program. The material we have covered is the design and construction highlights of the new Volkswagen VR6 engine. Some of the new service procedures, such as changing the new cartridge oil filter, and use of some of the new special tools used for removing and installing the spark plug connectors. Some important information about the VR6 cooling system, including the auxiliary coolant pump. And finally, some information about the traction control system and suspension changes to the VR6 Corrado and Passat. We hope that you find the material in this program useful in fixing your customer's cars right the first time and keeping them satisfied. Thank you.